Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here and who don't know, my name is Jen Blackshaw. And today's video, we are going to be reading a couple of ghost stories that I was sent. Because we haven't done that on this channel for a really long time. So I thought that would be fun to go a bit more paranormal. We've been doing a bit of true crime stuff recently, so it's nice to go back. When I was about nine, my mother used to leave me home alone when she went to work. My father had died when I was seven. It was the 70s and not unusual for kids to be left alone at that age. We had a small house literally in the middle of nowhere. The nearest neighbours were about half a mile down the road. So I was at home, busy playing, when I heard footsteps in the hallway. I freaked and hid behind the chair. About five minutes passed and I heard nothing else, so I convinced myself it must have been my imagination and went back to playing. The following week I was home alone again and heard footsteps, only this time I saw a shadow move across the hallway. When I tell you I was terrified, I'm not joking. So scared, I ran out of the house, down to the neighbours and banged on their door. None of the adults I told believed me, thinking that I was just a kid with an overactive imagination. The footsteps and shadows continued, and every time I was alone, I pretty much locked myself in my bedroom until my mum came home. As soon as I was 18, I moved out of that house. The following year, my mum met my stepdad. She sold the house and moved. It was only after she'd sold the house that she admitted to me that she thought the house was haunted. She told me that she'd once woken to find the apparition of an old man standing in her room. She said that she had only said that it was my imagination because she didn't want to freak me out any more than I already was. Wow. The fact that the mum had seen the ghost of an old guy in her room is terrifying. If you've watched any of my old... Um, ghost story videos you will know that I've had similar experiences myself in my dad's house and that is terrifying when that happens to you but it's funny isn't it that parents try to protect us by not telling us the truth when actually that's that's scarier but footsteps and shadows are never great why do they always happen when you're home alone? Maybe it's just because you're hypersensitive when you're on your own to safety. I don't know. But let's move on to the next story. Now this, this one is a nicer one. This one is not a scary ghost story. This one is quite comforting and I think for anybody who's ever lost any uh, family member, this, you know, you'd probably find this quite nice. So this one says, My grandma died six years ago. It wasn't sudden, she'd had dementia for many years, but it was still so hard as we had been close. Um, oh gosh, isn't dementia a horrible thing? I have a, a relative who's recently been diagnosed with this and it's, it's horrible to see, isn't it? Towards the end, she didn't really know who we were. After she passed, we were clearing out her house and I kept getting a scent of lavender, what my grandma always smelt of. I didn't think much of it. We were in her house after all, so it made sense that it would smell like her. But it was really comforting. That night, in my house, in bed, I got the same smell. Even my husband smelt it. I knew it was my grandma. For years, I would smell lavender out of nowhere, usually in times of stress or if I was having a hard time. In 2019, I went to visit a well-known psychic. She told me my grandma was always with me and that because she didn't want to scare me, my grandma would use scent as a way of contacting me. When the psychic said the word lavender, my jaw hit the floor. It was nice to have confirmation that my grandma is still with me when I need her, even after she's passed. Oh, that's really lovely, isn't it? To know that your loved ones are still with you and are still around you is so comforting. And like this person says, usually in times when they're having a hard time. So I would find that super comforting. I like that story. That's a really nice story. So this was just a really, really quick video. A couple of ghost stories. One 
pretty scary, would freak me out. The other one, really nice and comforting. If you have enjoyed this video on this channel, I make tons of content about the paranormal and ghosts and things like that. And I also do a lot of true crime. So if you are interested, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so that it pushes it in front of more people because that really does help to grow small channels like mine. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.